Alright guys, so we're over here at dbz.space and we are looking at the new KFL banner. <clears throat> what we're going to do is a little bit of a mixture of the Patara category fusion or Patara, yeah, Patara category fusion, Patara category team that you can build on top of the banner that's here. Alright, so here's my thing. This is a trap banner in my opinion. Um, the rates are decent. I think it's like a 15% pull rate overall for, for all the characters and it's like a 5% pull rate for the Featured units, at least, um, overall. Again, these units are cool, don't get me wrong. We have, like, the little miniature Broly, Broly Kale. Uh, she's a mini Broly, if you don't know. We'll go a little, little bit over her stats. Um, we're going to do Khalifa, who's an amazing dodger in the game. Uh, Bertamo goes giant, and Boo just is there. Anyway, and she's obviously the Patara Fusion category. So, we went over her last night. She's key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 120 up for the Patara category. She is not a Dokkan Fest exclusive. Um, she is a cool unit to have, don't get me wrong. She has, she does immense damage, greatly reduces defense, has a medium chance to dodge, has a medium chance to, long, well, she has a guaranteed chance to do an additional attack with a medium probability of it being a super attack. So, she is literally a Kale and Khalifa mixed together. Plus, she gives herself an attack and defense up by 10% per key orb obtained, and she is an orb changer. So, I did watch D Freeze video last night, and he was like, he did state a really good, you know, point. He's like, she's a mixture of Janemba, uh, <laughs> Broly, and uh, the intelligence trunks the hero leader <laughs> because she literally has all of their different abilities essentially added all into her so she is a beastly unit nonetheless you know overall really good she's also really good to run on a mono uh, super physical team or on a Vitara category fusion obviously with her as the leader um for keep hp of two hp attack and defense was 120 not a big fan of that um, I don't like it, but she hasn't had her Dokken Waking. Now, if you saw earlier's video, um, the video that I posted up a little bit earlier today, by the way, I'm recording this in succession. I just want to do this banner separately from the Extreme Z Awakening news and the 3.8 update, uh, just because I feel like this deserved its own video. Now, um, her having the, the Patara category lead, uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit garbage. It's decent. It's not horrible. They have some good units inside of it. Um... She doesn't have a Doken Awakening, and the reason why I believe she doesn't have a Doken Awakening, the same thing with UI Goku, is it's a, one, they're keeping on with the anime, obviously, they can't just, they're not going to go ahead and Z Awaken it, they're going to go ahead and go along with the, with the anime, because there might be new things that come along with it. On top of that, if they don't give them the Doken Awakenings, they can do another festival for the Doken Awakenings for tournament of, of the survival, sur survival tournament, whatever the heck. Um, they're going to do... They might do a, a big fest for that specifically, which means by the time it comes to global, they probably won't do the big festival, and it will help global catch up even further by releasing these guys without Dokken Awakenings and doing a Dokken Awakening fest later. Because that's two extra weeks that global is on, that global will catch up by. Now we're already only three months behind at this point in time, about about three months instead of six months like we were before. Anyway, uh, also, we might just get her. <laughs> we might just get her and UI Goku. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, probably once we get the 120 leads, then they'll start just dropping these guys alongside of the actual 120 leaders. and oh, not the 120 leaders. Oh, the category leaders. Anyway, uh, overall, decent unit. I would like her. I'm not going to go for her. I feel like they should do what they do in Naruto Blazing and step-ups, but like the third multi-summon, you get a guaranteed, the guaranteed featured unit. But uh, it's a guaranteed SSR pull, so that's awesome. This boo, not really that great. Um, he is... What is this... Uh, it's HP, attack, and defense plus 50% up, so he's a mini leader. Uh, super extreme damage. Uh, <laughs> attack plus 80% up for seven more from the start of turns. So, yeah, so uh, he is decent. Okay, he's actually not that bad of a unit. He does some decent attacks. It's just that he's Majin, a Majin Buu character, and I believe he is a good unit, so there's very little amounts of Boos that you could throw in there. Um, the Innocence, Brainiacs, Majin, um, Infinite Regeneration. Honestly, there's very li limited units that will link well with him. They're going to be mostly Majin Buu's or uh, those B-tier units. But he's cool. He's a good unit to have, don't get me wrong, especially if you're a newer player. He's a good unit. She is a mini Broly, this Kel. Um, she does key plus 2, HP attack, and defense plus 70% up for physical types. Um, she does a guaranteed additional 100% up, a guaranteed additional with high probability of it being a super attack. Decent link skills. Uh, overall, she's a good unit. She does hit harder than most of the other normal units that are out there. She's almost at a um, Dokkan Fest exclusive damage output. 
Uh, Khalifa, just one of the best Dodgers in the game other than Super Vegito, the Candy Vegito. She is probably one of the best Dodgers in the game. Don't know why they decided to give her that, because, like, it's just odd. And she does some decent damage and is a good all-around leader if you don't have Massey and Bardock, uh, like me. <laughs> um, at least on the global side. And Bergamo, who goes into his giant form. And outside of that, I don't really think he is... Uh, I guess he does some decent attack damage. Oh, when he gets attacked, uh, he goes to, his attack can go up to 120% up. So he's some decent card. Overall, Trap Banner, I don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. Um, if you guys want to pawn it, the LRs are on, available on it. All the LRs are. So you have every single attribute type LR, including Mighty Mask and Bojack. Uh, so if you want to go for it, for that reason, go for it. But they have abysmal pull rates, as always. All of them are under 0.01%, or sorry, 0.1%. They're all under that. Um, so like Majid Vegeta has a 0.026% pull rate. Same thing with Goku Black. LR Gohan has a 0.018% pull rate. Uh, the best one, best chance you have is Broly. Eight Broly's were pulled out of 11,000 pulls. Just think about that, all right? So if you guys are thinking about pulling on this banner, uh, I would highly recommend you reconsider it. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. SSRs from dbc.space show at about 15%. Uh, when you go over to Laughing Man on Dokken Stats page, it's showing at about 17, 18% overall. Um, average stones, it doesn't give you the actual numbers, so... Oh, numbers rolled, 159, so total is 900, so there's a larger sample size from dbz.space. But uh, overall, yeah, it's really not worth it, in my opinion. Don't pull on this banner um, at all. <laughs> it is a guaranteed SSR. I don't know if it's, a, if it's a banner card that's guaranteed or if it's just an SSR in general, uh, but it's a small banner. Unless you guys really don't have any of them or you really like Khalifa and Kale, um, I wouldn't recommend pulling on it. Uh, but that's just my opinion on it, guys. Thank you for joining me here today. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, before we go, but outside of that, um, I did want to touch upon the Patara fusion that she is the leader for. So just so that you guys have a little bit more uh, knowledge of what's going on with it. Uh, as you see over here, dbz.space has the Patara category available now because I guess it's available in game. So it's now it's available here. As you guys see, we do have all the base form Vegitos as we all had guessed. So all the base form Vegitos are there. Kibito is actually part of it. Supreme Kai is part of it. Or Kibito Kai is. Supreme Kai, Super Vegito as we thought. Um, the other Super Vegito, Super Vegito Blue. We do have all the Goku Blacks, Zamasu, and Rose. Uh, it's interesting, though, because the Grand Supreme... Not Grand. Uh, the, one of the major Kais uh, from... What is it? The South Kai, I believe it was. Uh, the, the South Supreme Kai. Whoever it was inside that you can get who had the earrings that you buy from the Baba Shop. He's not here, which is interesting. He should be here. I'm going to email Bandai about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, even so Candy Vegito, we have LR Merge, Merge the Masu. So we have one LR that's available. If Vegito Blue ever gets a Doken Awakening, he'll be there too. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is the category. We have a whole bunch of good units. I mean, just off the top of my head thinking, uh, LR, L LR Zamasu, or we yeah, have Zamasu and Rose, Merge the Masu, the Fuse Zamasu card. So those two would probably be really well to link well together. Um, you could have Rose and Vegito Blue, or you could have Veg Super Vegito and Vegito Blue linked together. You could throw this guy on rotation because he is good support because of his key buffs, plus he attacks very hard, so that's going to make him even better. Uh, he'd only be good for more extreme units because he only does give extreme buffs. Uh, the other thing is you can have, obviously, uh, Rose and Zamasu, Black and Zamasu, Merge Zamasu, uh, Goku Black, and then you also have Zamasu. So you could literally run an entire, like, godly demon team, <laughs> essentially, almost, totally, um, here to to go up against this event. Or not to go up against this event, to, to create a team based off of the Patara category fusion. Um, yeah, but that's it, guys. So that's my opinion on the matter. I think we have some good options over here, but in terms of the category, I don't think it. In terms of the banner, I don't think the banner is worth pulling on it. If you guys want to utilize the Patara category, it's it's a pretty nice setup. Don't get me wrong. I think that it's um, that's a nice character pool to utilize. I don't think that it justifies pulling on the banner. So take it for what you will. I don't think it's worth it. If you want to pull for it because you like them or you want you like the team that you could possibly build here, I'll do a team building guide at some point when it's available. Um, I don't have the time to do it right now, but I'll do a team building guide at some point for you guys with this category. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you all later.